New numbers show another record year for Florida's tourism industry with more than 112 million visitors in 2016. While more people just keep flocking to the Sunshine State, our governor is in a dispute with fellow lawmakers over the two agencies in charge of tourism and economic development. ABC 7's Kate Flexter tells us how local businesses are reacting. It's been another record breaking year for tourism here in the Sunshine State, thanks to beautiful scenes like this one. But the scene in Tallahassee is a much different one. In the Florida House of Representatives, there's a battle brewing on whether or not to fund those tourism agencies. 112 million <laughs> tourists. Despite red tide, two hurricanes and an outbreak of the Zika virus, Governor Rick Scott announced Thursday Florida once again attracted a record number of tourists. Number Scott attributes to the tourism marketing agency Visit Florida. His announcement just one of many moves in his ongoing fight with House leadership. So great, our tourism, num tourism numbers up, make the nexus and the causation between tourism and what we're spending. Speaker of the House Richard Corcoran is leading the movement to do away with Visit Florida and Enterprise Florida, releasing this YouTube video accusing them of foolish spending and corruption. Visit Florida recently came under fire after paying the rapper Pitbull $1 million to promote Florida beaches. Maybe they don't have to hire famous rappers, but to cut advertising? It would be ridiculous. Manager of the Old Salty Dog in Siesta Key, Milo Milladine, is one of many local businesses concerned about the potential impact. And they're driving tourism somehow through advertising, and I don't know why would they would want to do away with that. At the Greater Sarasota Chamber of Commerce, President and CEO Kevin Cooper says tourism is an integral part of our local economy. Hospitality and tourism is one of the legs of the stool here in Sarasota County, and, and it has long since been that way. Cooper says, though, it is important to be conservative when taxpayer dollars are involved. It's good to have an eye on it. It's good to have scrutiny. It's good to have questions about ROI. What are we doing? How is it working? Uh, but let's let those lessons learned uh, play out. Let's see how we can strengthen the organization rather than perhaps doing away with it. We did speak to local representative Joe Gruders. He says he's definitely in favor of keeping that funding for Visit Florida and Enterprise Florida. For now in Sarasota, Kate Flexter, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Kate.